Nollywood veteran actor John Okafor, aka Mr. Ibo, is no more. Guys, do all to take some few seconds of your precious time to leave your condolence wishes for Nollywood actor John Okafor in the comment section because information getting to our table actually confirms the fact that this particular man passed on in a hospital just last night. You're welcome again to another video right in the same channel. A G Gist and Vibes. Hit the subscribe button if you're new, and of course, kindly hit the bell notification button so you can be the first to get notified whenever we post or upload another video right in this same channel. And if I tell you I'm a long time subscriber, God bless you for me. Getting right away into the video, guys, we're going to be talking about this very disturbing piece of information that we got just a quiet number of hours ago. Well, we got this information from so many verified accounts, so many verified pages on both Facebook and Instagram. I've, they want us to believe that the Nollywood actor you guys happen to be seeing on your screens right now, John Okafor, aka Mr. Ibu, passed on just last night. Well, this is a very disturbing piece of information to be very honest because this is something that so many fans out there were not expecting like i was literally so so lost in the moment when i actually saw this information it's something so disturbing and believe me it's what people out there might find so difficult to cope from well just imagine how his family is going to feel right now it's something very disturbing. What we've been talking about John Okafor since the beginning of the video, uh, and I'm pretty sure that not every one of you guys should know who exactly this man happens to be or who he was. Well, uh, John Okafor, aka Mr. Ibu, happens to be a veteran actor in the industry, and I would love for us to like. Uh, emphasize on that veteran part he was a veteran actor in the industry and he had made so many rounds he actor he actually featured in a whole good number of movies and i feel like this is something so great because he gains the trust he gains the 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 the, 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 the pressure of so many people i mean there were people out there that literally loved this man he gained every single one of them and of course i feel like there are people in the industry today that somehow are like motivated by someone like Mr. Ibo and to talk about the fact that there are people that started watching movies like Nollywood movies to be precise just because of someone like Mr. Ibo all the same we are so much going to miss this man we are going to miss all his movies we are going to miss his acting to talk about the type of movies he was specialized in acting it was basically comic movies i mean we are talking about those type of movies that literally could make you laugh out your lungs movies that could make you laugh the whole day just brighten up your day this was actually his specialty well i feel like now information getting to our table is having it that he's no more i mean it's even difficult for me to use a past tense because it's something that people were not actually expecting we want to talk about what happened briefly before his departure it might actually interest you to know that this man has been married for quite a good number of years i mean the figures are quite disturbing so we won't actually go to that part of the video but all the same he has been married for a good number of years and of course he recently got married to his second wife who happens to be called stella okafo and as we speak we are actually having information and of course so many fingers are being pointed at this particular lady i mean it's something very disturbing because why would you pass on and maybe fingers get pointed at your wife because it's actually because of the issues they had before his departure it might actually interest you to know that this man came out on an interview and of course he just told the, the interviewer that if anything should happen to him in the future, then his wife is going to be responsible. I mean, what would actually prompt a man to come out on an interview and of course make this type of a statement? It definitely means that there is something going on in his matrimonial home and it's actually one-sided. So he's actually making us understand that Stella Okafor 
happens to be the reason behind everything he is going through and this is exactly what i wanted to talk about in this particular video so briefly before this man's departure or more like a couple of weeks ago when we we're still talking about john okafor and of course his his marital issues i mean this lady came out online i'm talking about stella okafor she came out online posted a video of herself having an encounter with her husband it's more like they were somehow having a misunderstanding a little argument to be precise and she she somehow recorded it like videotaped it and posted it on her instagram handle and of course according to her caption it was more like she was having issues with her husband who happens to be john okafor and of course people were so confused like why exactly would you be having issues with your husband and you feel like the best way to sort it out is to bring it online. I mean, if you're bringing your issues online, trust me, you're not going to find a solution. You can't even be close to finding a solution because nobody's going to take you serious. Everybody's just going to laugh around and nobody's really going to give a, 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 any form of concern. Or of course, to even feel like maybe what you're going through is actually bothering them. I mean, netizens online, don't really care about anyone they just care about making fun of everything that happened so this lady actually posted this video and of course the main concept behind the misunderstanding was the fact that stella okafor somehow accused her husband john okafor of having an affair with jasmine well just for a second i'm going to tell you guys who jasmine happened to be jasmine was actually the daughter of john okafor's first wife so that's to make you guys understand that stella believed that her husband john okafor was having an affair with his own daughter i mean that's something that should actually be tempted as as incest if i'm not if i'm not conf if i'm not mistaken so that's to make you guys understand that this lady could be very troublesome I know very well that there are most marriages that crumble because maybe the man is unfaithful, the man is picking up some type of funny habits, but trust me, this is actually common with most ladies. There are ladies that actually make their own marriages to crumble. I mean, in this particular case, it's the same thing because it's, it's going to be very funny for you to accuse your husband of having an affair with his daughter who happens to be your stepdaughter it doesn't just make any form of sense all the same this is a very disturbing information and i think this is actually the things that made this man so so down that disturbed him till he passed on all the same we're still waiting for confirmation from his family members because this happens to be just be a flying piece of information we got around all the same we'll keep you guys updated